What's going on guys, welcome to my tutorial in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. This is going to be an intro tutorial for beginners. I have another tutorial that is in a different version of Premiere Pro, but I thought this would be helpful because some people are asking me questions about Premiere Pro, but this is an updated version that will help you with the new software. So this will be a great tutorial for everyone just starting with Premiere Pro CC. So let's get started. I'm going to select new project and we're going to create ourselves a project. I'm going to call this Adobe Easy. Over here, we have some information that we can change. You can change the location where you want to save the file. You can also come over here and change different things like the way the display is for the video or the audio or even how the capture format is. Right over here, we have the scratch disk and I have another tutorial about this, but basically you want to create a scratch disk away from the operating system, whether you're using Windows or Mac. If you have a partition drive, that's the way to go. So you'll have your operating system on OneDrive and you'll have your Adobe program somewhere else. That way when the related files get saved for your project, things will be a lot quicker. So I have it all set over here to Adobe Easy Tutorials on the D drive and that's fine. So I'm going to select OK. And this is where things are a little bit different with Premiere Pro, especially the new version. What we can do to create a new sequence, we're going to go File and select New and then we're going to select Sequence. And next over here you see a list of parameters or presets for different variations of the camera settings. And what I would say is find the camera setting that best works for you in the way you're recording your video. Make sure that you read the details on how you're recording your video and then match it up to one of these settings. Now over here I know my camera is a DSLR. So I know I record in 720 and then over here it's 60 frames per second. So 1280 by 720. Now the video that I'm importing, it's going to be different in this setting, but I'll show you guys what Premiere Pro does when we look at that. So that's basically it. And then if you want to change the settings and have a custom format, all you have to do is click over here and select custom. And then you can change the parameters based on how you want it. But I'm going to select the SLR and then select OK. OK, so now that we have our sequence setting, we're going to import our first video. So go to File, Import, and I'm going to select this tutorial that I created before. Then to see the video, we're going to go to Window and select Project. And right here are the materials. Now if you want to organize your materials, this is a good way to do it. Right click over here and select New Bin. And it's just a folder and we can call it Videos. Next what we want to do is take that video, put it in the bin. Then if I double click here, now if I want to import anything, I'm going to go to File Import. And then if I import anything else, it's going to go right into this bin. So it's a pretty cool feature because when you're organizing assets for a project, you want to have it so you can find it easily. And then also you can zoom in or zoom out and you can also scrub over here left and right so you can see what the video is about. And you can also press space bar if you want to hear this. Bring that video on the timeline and as you see like I said before it says it's going to ask me to change the settings and Premiere Pro it's going to change the settings here based on what my video parameters are. And this was recorded with screen capturing software so basically what Premiere Pro is saying is that they recognize that I didn't shoot this video with the DSLR that I usually shoot my video in and it's asking me if I want to change the settings. Pretty easy stuff. So let's change the settings. Close that. If you notice over here on the timeline it's kind of zoomed far out so let's zoom in and let's get a better view of the video. As you can see, there's the thumbnail and you can see the audio a lot better. All I'm doing is left clicking and bringing this line down. And let me also mute the sound. So right over here we have mute. And then if I scrub on the timeline and I zoom in here, we can make some easy edits. And to cut a video, you can press C on your keyboard. That's for the razor tool. And then press V to select it and you can move the clip around. Let me just press Control Z again and press C again select the clip and delete and by the way it doesn't actually delete it it just hides it from the timeline so you can just move it over and you have your video back so if you want to undo something you press ctrl z ctrl z again and you can keep pressing ctrl z to undo some of the edits that you make next we have a cool feature over here if you want to export say a thumbnail for youtube a lot of people do this all you have to do is scrub on the timeline and pick something that you want to export and then select this camera right here and you can export the frame and it has different formats here also, if you notice over here, this is a cool tip. It says full. What this means is the full quality of your preview. But I would suggest if your computer is running a little bit slow when you're working with Premiere and there's some lag, select one fourth. And that means that the quality will be less in Premiere Pro, but it's not going to change the quality of when you export your video. Next, let's show you some tools. Go to Window and we're going to select Tools. There's some interesting tools here for advanced users and I have another tutorial on tools such as the ripple edit, the rolling edit, and even the rate stretch. But what I'm going to keep it here is very simple. 
before we had the razor tool, you can press C. Over here we have a simple tool where you can zoom in and zoom out. I press Alt on my keyboard and I can zoom out. And then also, by the way, you see something over here. This is the pen tool. This is if you want to add keyframes. And I'll show you what you can do with this. Rather than use the pen tool, I can show you another way. It's just as simple. If you have a clip selected, we can select one keyframe over here. Select another keyframe over here. And this is with the audio. And that's a simple fade in of the audio. And a lot of people do this when you're editing with the audio. It's a very, I guess you say, professional thing to do. And this is a fade out. So we're going to select one keyframe over here. And then select another keyframe. And then you can fade out the audio in Premiere Pro. And to add effects to this, this is pretty simple. You're going to go Window, Select Effects. Um, let's see, let's select Video Transitions. Let's select Page Peel. And as you notice right here in the beginning of the video, that's the Page Peel. And if you want to edit this more, you go to Window, Effect Controls, or you can press Shift 5 on your keyboard. And right over here, you can adjust the transition. So you can make changes to this if you want to. By default, if we click on one of these clips, if we go to Window and then select Effect Controls again or Shift 5, you can see some different things over here. Now those keyframes that I made are over here. That's with the volume, so that's over here. And then you have the channel volume, the panner. Up top here you have time wrapping, opacity, and motion. And opacity is a very popular one. Say you want to change the opacity of your video. I'll show you that very quickly. A lot of people like to do a fade in of the opacity also because it looks kind of cool. And also you can scale it, all sorts of stuff over here. But let's change the opacity and select one keyframe. Select that as zero. And then if you increase that 100, it will automatically adds another keyframe. And that's a simple fade in. You can do the same thing for moving the video if you want to. Set one keyframe over here. That's where it's going to land. And then over here. We're just going to move the video. And then you see the video moves there. Very simple stuff. And then if we want to add some text, again, let's open Window Project so we can see it after we create it. Go to Title, select New Title. Default stills for still text over here. Default role is if the text is moving, similar to credits for a movie. And let's call this Adobe Easy. And we'll also type Adobe Easy. Why not? Very simple stuff. And then if we want to add our text, I'm just going to move everything over here. And we can take this Adobe Easy Text and put it on top of the video. And you can also move the text if you want when it's over here. You can do this by double clicking on the text itself. And you can move it. So we can take this and move here. And there's a bunch of options here, variations of the text. I have another tutorial about how you can stylize your text and all these different things you can do with text in Premiere Pro. There's a lot of options. It's pretty cool. And you can also move it over here. It's all about what you want to do. And you can also animate it again. You can use keyframes if you want to do something like that. And then say you want to produce your project and you're ready to save this. First you go File, Save, or Save As. And if you want to produce it, make sure the timeline is selected. Go File, Export, and then select Media. Usually you have QuickTime selected for YouTube, but you can select all sorts of stuff over here. Any kind of file format that's available. And then if you just want to export a portion of this video, and it's a lot easier, especially if you want to edit some things and you want to see what it looks like, you press X on your keyboard and just select a portion of the video. And then you go File, Export, Select Media. And right over here, you see the rendering. This is just the area where the sequence in and out points are. And that's a really cool thing, again, especially when you're adding a lot of different things to your video. And you just want to see what the rendering looks like on one portion of it. And that's pretty much it. So that's your intro tutorial in Premiere Pro CC. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more beginner tutorials for Premiere Pro, let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys later. Cheers.